Hello folks, this is Ayat Tanaksha from InspireToRise.com and today we have the OnePlus 3 smartphone here with us for a detailed hands-on review and unboxing for the same. So guys, without wasting much time, let's begin. So guys, let's first look at the box for the OnePlus 3 smartphone. This is what the box for the OnePlus 3 smartphone looks like. Very minimalist and as you can see the OnePlus 3 3 in bold. At the back of the box, we can see other specifications about this device. It's a dual SIM 4G LTE enabled smartphone with 64GB of internal storage and the SAR value of the smartphone can also be seen on the back of the box itself along with the price for the smartphone and it supports something known as dash charging and let's just see what do you get inside the box so inside the box we get this small red thing and what do we get inside it we get the sim tray slot opener and the quick start guide and the user manual for the oneplus 3 smartphone what else do we get inside the box we get a customized letter from the CEO of OnePlus looks good enough and very nicely three written over there with white and red and this is the cable USB to USB type C cable as can be seen over here and something great about the OnePlus 3 is that it supports something known as dash charging which does not allow the smartphone to get heated up too much while allowing to charge at a very rapid pace. The OnePlus 3 comes with a 5.5 inch full HD optic AMOLED display. It has a very thin bezel and very vivid colors because of the AMOLED display and it has a dual polarizing layer which makes sure that even in bright sunlight the display is quite legible enough and we can assure you that the color reproduction on the display was quite good on the bottom we have a USB type C 3.5 mm jack and you also get the microphone as well as the speaker grill the fingerprint sensor is made out of ceramic and is quite res good and responsive as can be seen it sits flush with the screen looks good enough the built-in display is quite good you have the alert slider as before on the left hand side of the smartphone along with the volume rocker you can clearly see that the camera module is protruding out here and it is one of the only cons that I can possibly say about the smartphone that the camera does look out that the sensor does look out to be protruding out of the back on the right hand side you have the sim tray slot and the power button for this smartphone and the sim tray slot supports two nano sims as can be seen over here no micro SD card support somewhat disappointing for people who love expansion and it Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 is the chipset on this one top of the line processor everything is top of the line 6 gigabyte of RAM just take that in 6 gigabyte of RAM it's quite a lot of RAM we have seen it before on the Lamax 2 but because of the fact that the Lamax 2 won't be available to a lot of people the OnePlus 3 is one of the rapidly widely available smartphones which would have 6 gigabyte of RAM and almost every sensor that you can imagine on a smartphone all of that is present on the OnePlus 3. It scored a whopping score of 140,241 on the Antutu benchmark which is quite a high score and apart from that on the Geekbench 3 also the OnePlus 3 flexes its muscles and you can see that the single core as well as the multi core score is too high and almost never seen before on any other smartphone. We got 59.9 frames per second on the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. Okay, enough score, not the best in class. And the score on the Quadrant Standard benchmark was also too good, 44,000 plus over here. So it tells you that this smartphone is the performance king. It comes with a 8 megapixel front shooter and a 16 megapixel rear shooter. And though OnePlus has advertised that the camera is quite good, we found out that the selfie quality wasn't as great as we would like it to be but still it was decent enough it has dual stabilization technologies ois as well as eis which is electronic image stabilization to help reduce blur and the kind of depth of field that we were able to achieve with this camera was quite good so we would somewhat appreciate that the camera is really a decent upgrade from the oneplus 2 and the app itself opens up really quickly and you have the hdr automatic mode enabled by default so that's also quick enough you can just take photos in an instant so that's something good it also supports 4k video shooting we have already uploaded a 4k video sample on our channel go check that out in case you want to check out the video clarity and the color reproduction of this camera 
so in one word we would say that for this price what you get is a very good camera which has PDAF phase detection autofocus using laser technologies so what you are paying in that price you are getting a quite a good camera which is quite good resolution and the images come out really good it has dynamic denoise auto HDR a lot of different features and lot of different things which might make the camera experience even better than what you are already accustomed to on many other smartphones. We tried playing few small games on this smartphone and what we found out was that it's quite good though a game small game like Subway Surf is almost no challenge for a smartphone like this but we recorded this video in 60 fps and we would want you to push this bar the quality bar up to the 720p or 1080p 60 fps so you can actually see that the animations and motion on the screen while playing heavy games like modern combat or while playing heavy games like asphalt 8 were so smooth the animation the image quality etc was so good and the amulet screen also makes the colors pop out and you have to see it for yourself in whole 60 frames per second as to how responsive the gameplay was on this one so 60 fps gaming on a mobile phone might become a reality after the oneplus 3 you can see it for yourself in this asphalt 8 airborne game play footage that we have recorded in 60 fps the motion etc everything is so smooth over here i haven't seen anything like this on any other smartphone before the feeling of playing asphalt 8 dramatically changed after i experienced it on this specific smartphone so that's the kind of performance that you are getting and uh, and I would also like to tell you the fact that even right now a lot of applications are running in the background on this smartphone. So what I would like to show you is a small multitasking test that I designed. I opened up almost around 18 to 20 applications on this one. And let's just see whether we can resume any game from its paused condition directly from here. Most of the times when you have less RAM than thrashing which is clearing of applications from RAM occurs but not on the 6GB RAM of the OnePlus 3. Here you can see that only the net connectivity needed to be resumed and then when I tried to resume the game it was able to resume from that point itself. No lag whatsoever the game is playable again. So that's something really great. Though this function would almost never be required but you can also clear applications and background processes while you are using this smartphone just in case and this is the user screen wherein we showed the amount of used RAM when we were running a lot of applications it's still not too much just 1.4 gigabyte out of 6 gigabyte the only major con that we could say that this smartphone has is the 3000 mAh battery but still it charges so quickly that it won't be much of a hassle to most of the users. The smartphone would be available for a price of 28,000 rupees on Amazon.in starting from today. So guys, this was a short unboxing and hands-on video. In case you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will try to come up with more detailed videos on the OnePlus 3 in the coming few days. And we would also like to show you a few of the comparisons, gaming reviews, etc. for this smartphone. So guys, this was it for this video. In case you like this one, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And guys, no matter what you do, stay inspired to rise.